you have no job and graduated from middle school penniless, I'm done with you. I'm not going to let an old woman parasite in me. Never. Just pack up your stuff and get out of here. I've been marrying you for a long time, so be grateful. In other words, you want a divorce? Then he laughed in a high-pitched voice. Don't ask me back. You know what I mean. Should I make it clear? You're just not smart enough to get it on you. Are you going to divorce me and remarry my sister? They look each other in surprise. My name is Jane. I live with my husband Tim. I'm in my late fifties. He's five years younger than me. I have a younger sister, and she and my husband went to college together. My sister is the reason I met my husband. We have two children. Both are now independent and have families of their own. At my age, I often think of the past. A lot has happened to me in my life up to this age. I'm happy to have had two children, but with my husband, I'm not happy at all. He makes fun of my education experience, and he's got no job. You don't even know that. That's why you only have a middle school degree. This is what my husband always said to me when we have an argument. My husband is right. I did only graduate from junior high school. I was hoping to go to high school. After all, I didn't hate learning. But we were so poor at that time. In those days, the internet was not yet widespread. And the world was very small, so I did as my parents told me and graduated from junior high school and got a job. But my sister, who is five years younger than me, graduated from college. That's because I worked hard to get her through college. It's not easy earn a living with what I had, so I didn't want her to suffer the same. I decided to work harder. Fortunately, my sister was an excellent student. She got into an elite university, and of course, my husband was a classmate of hers. So he's from there too, and he's so proud of it. When we argued, he used his education as an excuse. When we first met, he never showed any sign of it. So when we got married and had our first daughter, I was at the height of my happiness. But gradually, my happiness began to disappear. At the time, it was common for people to quit their jobs when getting married. I was going to quit my job and focus on my child, but my husband never allowed it. He wanted me to work full time while taking care of the house and raising our child. He quits his job when he, our first son was born. I was expecting him to allow me to be a housewife then, so that I could focus on the house chores. But he did nothing. Housework and childcare were still my job. If he doesn't help me with anything. I thought at least he could bring money to the family. I'm not sure I can raise two kids on my own. I was worried about money. Six months after he quit his job, I suggest him, "Hey, it's time for you to get a job." Who do you think you're talking to? You're the only one in front of me. It's been six months. Are you going to stay unemployed? You think you can tell me what to do? Oh, not again! Unlike you, who graduated from junior high school, I'm someone greater. I'm happy for you. Then I guess you'll get your final goal soon. If I want a job, I get a job, and you don't get to choose your job. I'm able to choose. Oh yeah. Well then, pick one though. I can't. 
There's no job I want to do. He may had graduated from an elite university. He may be good at study, but he has zero ability to earn a living. If he doesn't do anything, his degree from a fancy university is just a decoration. Then at least do something for the family. What kind of idiot are you? It's ridiculous for me to do it, isn't it? It's you who gave birth to the children. You should be grateful. The reason I've been with this man for years, without getting divorced, is because of the circumstances we had. In our generation, people would stab you in the back if you got divorced, and the mother is not the only one who gets attacked. The children will be the target of unwanted rumors. I really don't want that happens, but they're both grown up now. I think it's okay to cut it off with him. I'm almost ready to retire, and I'm thinking that a divorce at this age would be a good idea. Just thinking about it makes my future looks brighter. And I've been studying for my high school equivalency exam for a while. Now that kids are grown ups, I have more free time to study. As a result, I passed the exam. Of course, I haven't told my husband about it. I know he would make fun of me if I told him. The other day, I received a letter of acceptance. I received a phone call from my sister. Hey, how's going? I'm coming now. You're home, right? What's going on? Well, I'm home. Okay, I'm at the station. Unlock the door in ten minutes. Oh, hey! She hung up on me. Ten minutes later, my sister really came. What's wrong? How is your husband? We got divorced. What? When? Oh, um, when was it? It was um six months ago. I didn't know that. I didn't tell you so. By the way, do you have an extra room in the house? No, we don't. Yes, you do. The kids are all grown up. Yes, but we still have room for them. In case they want to come over, I've left their rooms as they are. Then the guest room is empty. Well, it is. I'll just stay there then. Okay. I'll start leaving here from today. Wait a minute. Isn't it too urgent? No, it's not. I've got Tim's permission. That's right. I told her to come over if she's in trouble. My husband just came home from the convenience store. Why do you decide that without me? It's strange. Your sister is in trouble. You're supposed to help her, aren't you? That's why middle school graduates are idiots. You're right, and she doesn't help people. Judy got together with Tim and against me. I know she's always been like this. Even thought I can't stand it anymore. I did my best for her. She's still my family, but I can't help but feel a bit bitter about it. After that, my opinion was just air. I started living with Judy, and I'm the only one who works in this family. Judy and Tim did nothing every day. If you're going to stay at someone's place, at least help out. Why? Tim isn't paying or doing anything. Oh, Jen, you must have had a hard time after graduating from middle school. You're really obsessed with money. I was shocked, and after a while, Judy and Tim started going out together. What bothered me the most was their behavior to each other. I don't think they are not aware of this, but it's as if they are lovers. I see. I'll have to figure it out.
the truth of this too. It won't be surprising if it was a relationship from now on, because they don't have common sense. I hired an agency to investigate them, and a week later, the results were just as I expected. They were having an affair. When I told my children this, they agreed with me to get a divorce. Now I have no more regrets. I decided to wait for the perfect time to get divorced. While they were gone, I studied for my law degree. It all started when I was working as a janitor at a lawyer's office. While I was working there, an employee of the law firm told me that he had passed the bar exam at the age of 69. I was deeply impressed. I thought it was amazing that someone in his 17s could have a goal and challenge something. After hearing that story, I decided that I wanted to take the challenge too. And then the day came for me to retire. I come home, and Tim and Judy had a strange smile on their faces. I want to talk to you. What is it? You retired from today, right? That means you're unemployed. How are you going to make a living? You have no job and graduated from middle school panelist. I'm done with you. I'm not going to let an old woman parasite in me. Never. Just pack up your stuff and get out of here. I've been married to you for a long time, so be grateful. In other words, you want a divorce? Then he laughed in a high-pitched voice. Don't ask me, bad. You know what I mean. Should I make it clear? You are just not smart enough to get it, aren't you? Are you going to divorce me and remarry Judy? They looked at each other in surprise and started laughing again. You knew it. Then let's make it quick. I don't need you anymore. If you really don't want to leave, I can consider it. If you get down on your knees, that won't be necessary. I wanted to divorce this man when I retired, so this is convenient for me. Then sign this. I took the divorce papers out of my bag. The two of them froze, with their mouths hanging open. Please do it quickly. I'm leaving. How come it's you to prepare the divorce papers? Because I was thinking of getting a divorce. I thought if I was going to get a divorce too, this would be the right time. I changed my clothes for the last time. Tim, hurry up! Let's go. Isn't it nice that Jen is going anyway? Tim signed the divorce paper at her urging. Okay, that's all. I checked his entry without hesitation. I guess he didn't like my attitude. He's still swearing. Well, you're a middle school graduate. You're going to die soon. You know that. Oh, I don't know about that. Please, both of you. My voice was cue for the kids to come into the living room. Here, hold this so he doesn't tear it up. Okay, I got it. You guys are really gross. You're the worst father ever. Graduating from a fancy university is such a big honor for you, but it doesn't do anything for your life. You're happy with your decoration, and you've been unemployed your whole life. That's really stupid, don't you think? What? The truth is, my daughter beat him to the punch. You're really a dumb, unemployed old jerk. Okay, kids, that's too true. You guys are so honest. I've got proof of your affair. Way to pay us the alimony. Well then, I left the house with my children. After that, they, they had no money. They should have paid me a million dollars. That's the price they paid for not having a job. I guess they borrowed money from a dangerous lender who lent money to people with no job and no grabs 
of others, and then I filed for divorce and became a free person. Now I can finally concentrate on my studies. I worked part time as a cleaner and studied hard. As a result, I was accepted into the law school of my choice. After four years of study, I completed graduate school, and I managed to pass the bar exam. Then became the lawyer I always wanted to be. My children, accompanied by their families, they threw me a little party. My life was so wonderful. But you know what they say about those two were looking for me? How do I know that? My ex-husband came to my new house. Please help me! I heard him crying outside. Your sister Judy, she doesn't work at all. We have no money. I went to the kids. They won't see me. Of course not, you idiot. What do you mean? I say you're an asshole. You say you will be something great. All you had was a college name. You've got nothing to live for. Don't be stupid. You're just trying to get on your good side. You're just a middle school graduate. You're not even close to me. Actually, I just passed the bar.、Uh, well, anyway, I'll fall to the same level as him if I flop my education here. Now. You're asking for money from whom you've always made fun of. It's hilarious. I mean, why do you live in such a nice place? I do because of my job. You work? Yeah, I do. I used to be a janitor at a law firm. What do you mean? You're a private cleaner? Yeah, I am. I clean my own desk. Your desk? What what are you talking about? I left the door chained on and opened the door. Here you go. I show my ex-husband my lawyer badge. He just froze. You know, if you don't give up, you can make your life as long as you want. If you continue to follow me around like this, we will fight you in the court. I said that much and closed the door loudly. After that. My ex-husband never came at me again. Judy did once, but I told her the same thing, and she never showed up again. Just like him, the two of them, who are only educated, will continue to fall apart without any effort. I guess they'll just keep on going down the path they're on. If you don't give up in life, anything is possible, Jen. Is a person of hard work. She deserves our respect. Let's glad her children are fully on her side. Hope Jen has a fulfilling life. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like. See you in the next video.